What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at 360 internet security and also RoboScan internet security. These are both free antivirus programs, probably not heard of very much, um, but we're going to be giving them a test against each other and uh, we're going to see how they fare. So let's have a look at the uh, 360 internet security first. As you can see, it's a pretty nice user interface. You've got quick scan, full scan and custom scan. With your little tabs at the side here, you've got your sandbox, which allows you to run things in your sandbox, and you can just clear this out or add stuff in. As you can see here, turn on and off, you've got your settings um, for your actual um, sandbox with your exclusion list and advanced settings, okay? You can set this up how you like, but it's a pretty nice little feature. Also, you've got your uh, cleaner here, which will allow you to clean up the traces of your browsing history, Windows history and Office history. You can just clean this up by running a quick scan. And uh, we'll move right along down the bottom. We've got our auto update here where you can update this manually if you want by clicking on this. But it also um, automatically updates in the background. Okay, So that's already updated as you can see. Now down the bottom here we've got the engines and you can see there's a 360 cloud engine and also the QVM2 engine and also the Bitdefender engine. This is what this runs on, okay? Now also you've got your quarantine uh, tab here and your little uh, performance CPU tab in your memory. You can just pop those back in. And uh, up the top here, you have your themes and your privacy policy and settings. This is your advanced settings. You can come in here and enable um, schedule your uh, scans here and also you can go through to set it up how you will so basically you can set up auto update user proxy engines uh, as you can see here real time uh, protection and uh, scan wise you can set this up as you wish but there's a scan for rootkits there we'll tick that box and uh, you just go through here you can set this up to protection level low medium or high okay uh, so d depending on how far you want to go with this, so we'll just ramp this up uh, to strict protection maybe, or should we leave it at default? Well, I think we'll leave this at default actually. And um, also you've got your protective defense, which is to protect your processes, registry, network, and all that good stuff. Your whitelist, again, you can self-explanatory take more time at going through this and your do not disturb tab which is uh, basically for your pop-ups and stuff like that okay so that is the uh, 360 internet security just to uh, pop over to the other side and have a look at robo internet security as you can see here you've got your real-time protection and your firewall you can just on that or off that uh, depending on whether you want it on or off uh, up the top here you've got your update here which has already been updated and uh, you've also got your scan and clean uh, this is a similar setup as you can see here, um, prettier buttons I suppose, but you've got your quick scan, basic scan and advanced scan. You've got your scan options and also your setup and if you want to go through all that sort of stuff you can go through your setup and uh, set this up how you wish. Um, basically you've got your real time and uh, cleaning settings and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to leave this as default as much as I can. Um, I want to tick that, that's what I do want to tick. Um, but pretty much we're going to leave this as is other than just doing a couple of little bits there okay and then we'll run um, right through this as you can see here I'll just quickly flick through and you can spend more time or maybe we can do a review of this later on in the week but as you can see here pretty decent uh, interface here as well you can scan also compress files we'll tick that as well and uh, we're all ready to go really we're updated and everything so we're going to click OK uh, what we'll do is we'll test this against um, some links and then maybe do some other bits and pieces now I've heard that the RoboScan is very good at detection but very poor at removal so we'll maybe try to give that a go a little bit later on so here we have some links here I've got some links uh, identical links for both machines let me just downsize that a little bit and uh, we'll give this a little blast and uh, we'll see how it fares okay guys so um, let me just open up our browser now we're going to be using uh, Internet Explorer for this and also we have the uh, Internet Smart Screen filter turned off on both of these 
as you can see here okay so let's first start off with the uh, first one on the left hand side here Let me just uh, copy that up and uh, we'll see uh, how the test fares and how it blocks okay this one wants the run and we'll do the other side while we're waiting okay you can see that's now been blocked And we'll run that as well and you can see it's been blocked here on this side and also real-time protection is uh, blocked here we can clean that if we wish okay that's done so we can run this again it's run on this left hand side again this will be blocked hopefully this will get blocked we just uh, put that there two quarantined areas okay that's done so let's uh go on for the next one now as i said these are brand new fresh installs of windows um, both using identical machines because i cloned them and uh you can see this is uh been detected and blocked we can try to run it again you can see it's uh, blocked that as well quarantined it which is nice okay click OK there and we'll do the second one on the right hand side now this does take a bit of time because obviously there's two machines I'm having to deal with um, so I'm going to take my time to make sure that we get a good test and uh, we'll let this run to see whether this blocks it as well okay there's something not popped up there I'm not sure if that's got onto the system Okay, something seemed to get onto there. I'm not sure if it's something down there. But we'll leave that for now. We'll just keep going. So we'll try the uh, third one here. Oh, it is that one. Was running uh, on there. I can see that now. So let me just check that again. You can see it is running on this system. It's got 99 or 99 percent CPU usage. So that managed to slip through on the right hand side there, as you can see. Um, so we're just going to quickly uh, run this. And that got blocked by Komodo Firewall. And that's funny because there's no Komodo Firewall on there. Which is a bit strange. And uh, let me just try that on this uh, machine here. So we're we'll gonna quick. Okay, maybe it's my Komodo firewall on my main system. So we're just gonna put this on game mode here and we'll try that again to see what happens. No, it's not having it, so I'm not sure if it is that. Let me just shut this uh, firewall down on my main system. Okay, it's still blocking it okay so we'll cl class that as a, a blockage there I'm not sure what happened there and we'll move on to the next link and see what happens okay that's been blocked by the looks of it well it's not loaded just quickly run this one on this side Okay, a bit of a duff link there. So we'll move on to the next one. And that one wants the run. I'm not sure what to do there. Okay. still connecting and that's been blocked on the right hand side now that seemed to go through on the left hand side one there but that seemed to get blocked 
So whether that managed to get through or not, I'm not too sure. We'll have to check. We'll run a scan at the end to see. So we'll close that off and we'll move on to the next link. And we'll see how this one comes up. Again, we'll just do this next one here. That looks like a dead link. You get the odd dead link now and again. Okay, we'll try a couple of more here. And that one's been blocked by Komodo Firewall. I wonder what's whether that's my main system that's doing that or whether it's and that's been blocked. Okay, so let's just try one more here. And we're gonna run that. And that's now been blocked. And that's been blocked down there. We can clean that and run it, try to run it. Click OK, and that's been cleaned. And we'll try one more here. And run that. And that got blocked. And that's been blocked also. So we'll try this last one. And I'll try and find out what this Komodo thing is, whether it's my Komodo firewall in the background. I've turned it off, but I'm not sure what's happening there. We'll try and find out why. Um, but that's now cleaned. And as you can see, pretty good results there from both of them. A bit of concern on a couple of them there, but we can check those out a little bit later on. So we can go on to scanning a whole folder now and see how that works out. So let me set that up and I'll be right back. Okay, let's get on to part two here. I've got a folder on both of the computers with the uh, viruses in there, 117 viruses on the uh, computer, as you can see here. And uh, what we're going to do is run a scan with these, as you can see, uh, pretty much identical. And uh, we'll run a scan and see what gets detected. Now, I didn't mention the little pull down tab here, which is on the 360 internet security which allows you to enable now I'll do one at a time so I'm just gonna put these all back on and we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna scan and we'll see what it finds and we'll delete all of these afterwards and see what is left behind 115 detected so we can uh, resolve this um, as you can see here they're all set to repair and they'll resolve this which will be file deletion so we'll just let that uh, delete all those there and then we'll remove on to uh, move on to the uh, RoboScan internet security Okay, that's now click OK there and click OK. And as you can see, we are now what's left. We've got three files left, that's all that's left on that system. So it detected all those pretty well. And now we're going to do the same thing for RoboScan. Um, so what I'm going to do here is quickly set this up back up to on, on and on. And then we'll right click on this and scan. And we can see it's a very slow scan with this robo scan for some reason. I'm not sure if there's something wrong there. Um, but we'll just let that finish its scan and we'll come back when that's completed. Okay, I think I've solved what was causing the slow process here, and it was that virus that managed to get through the net um, the last time when we was doing the link testing. You can see it's taken up the CPU, so it was that that was making this very, very slow. So um, what I'll do is I'll quickly end that process, if I can. Okay. Clean all these. And it was that process there that was running 
um, from that virus so and this did let that through so it's obviously started up again so we'll let these clean off and I'll quickly run the last little scan on the leftover ones just because it didn't complete and we'll see what happens there and what comes up so that's now all complete and uh, we'll delete these from the system I'm going to delete all quarantine files and then uh, we'll just take a look and see what was left on the system so here we have our folder there so I'm going to just quickly right click on this and run a quick scan just to see whether it detects it and that's running a lot quicker now as you can see so that was the fault there was that virus okay so you can see there's a uh, 16 files left on here and on the left hand side for the 360 um, internet security we have got three left okay so that was basically that scan done so and we can probably uh, have a go at doing the install so I'll click on this to see what happens and we'll do the same on this side to see whether they get blocked And it looks like something's going through there. Okay, this one's been uh, blocked. So we blocked that on the left hand side. 360 has blocked that from running. Okay, so I've installed and done a scan with uh, Malwarebytes, and as you can see, um, 360 Internet Security has come up clean. Um, on the right hand side, which is the Robo Scan, that's uh, got some viruses inside here, as you can see. Now I can't see that one that keeps running on the system. That's not been detected at the minute, I don't think. Um, but we'll soon find out. Uh, we'll run another scan with... Just restart this. We'll run a scan with Hitman Pro. So I'm just running a scan now. You can see that um, file that was running there uh, on the system. Uh, that service, it's, that, well not service, that process that was running and it's now detected that so that managed to get on the system also and you can see on the uh, 360 internet security that come up clean so uh, what we're going to do here is uh, just quickly finish this off and uh, that one's done so this will just be just this stuff left and we'll remove those and as you can see you can make your own minds up what come out on top um, it's pretty self explanatory really so I'm just going to quickly activate this and uh, remove those. So that's the end of the the scan results here. And uh, I think you agree that um, the 360 Internet Security did a pretty good job. Um, apart from the, the other one, the RoboScan being a bit slow, I think that was just that virus running. But if it blocked it and didn't land on system, that wouldn't have affected it at all. So... I think it's a big thumbs up for uh, 360 Internet Security and uh, not so sure about uh, RoboScan at the moment. Uh, sort of uh, the jury's out on that one. So let's wrap this video up. So thanks again for watching, guys. You can make up your mind which ones come out on top. And uh, I think uh, you'll know that the 360 Internet Security did a great job there, I think, in protecting uh, the system. Okay. So anyway, my name is Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do and you want to see more, then hit the like button and also leave a comment down below if you've got any other recommendations to videos to me to make and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.